The first thing to do when you pull a truck in here is set the parking brake, make sure you got correct air pressure in the tires. I also lock and center my steering wheel with a simple bungee cord. The folks at Quick Trick have been great. They've uh, modified this the way we want it modified, sliders and everything. This will go on a 22.5 wheel so you can line a bolt truck with it. So it'll slide up that far, it goes from 16 to 22 fives. Uh, everything's powder coated, pretty nice stuff. They put magnets on here because all of our wheels are steel for the most part. Uh, and that was something that we felt would benefit us just because we don't have anything aluminum and the magnets help it stick. But if you get it on there, kind of centered up, eyeball it as best you can, the magnets help it stick. And when I set this up, I put a little bit of up pressure on it before I tighten that to hold it in the wheel. The other side is the same way, nothing different about it. The magnets hold it to the wheel so there's no guesswork out of it. And it tucks in just as easily as the other side did. Yeah, if you're like working by yourself, you just slide them out there and put them on the ground like that. And then we go over here to this side where you actually have the tape measure. You can pick it out and put it in the slots. It's not going to fall out. They're cut deep enough. To where you get them to that point then run back over to the other side, put the tape measure in the slot, pull the slack out of it and lock it down. You got one in the front, one in the back. They've got a nice angle gauge over here that's pretty cool. It uh, takes all the guesswork out of it. You just turn it on and it'll zero to any surface so you don't have to have a flat floor or anything like that. You can work it off blacktop, anything, probably but gravel. I set it right there because that's the surface that I'm working off of. And push the zero button and get it to zero. And right there's the mount that your camber's out. And we'll level it. And you're ready to set your camber. Basically, the main thing that you need to keep in mind is your alignment is as good as you are. If you take a minute to set this stuff up right um, and not just slap it on there and read it and do what you're supposed to with it, they're gonna last for a long time, you're gonna save money on tires. If you slap it on there, yeah, you might save a little bit, but you're not gonna save as much as you can. Right. So, and it's so simple to set up correctly that it's a no-brainer.